Hello dear student for this practical we require optical needle stand plane mirror convex lens meter scale and some water Now we decrease the height of optical needle and observe the inverted image in convex lens without any parallax so without wasting time we start the practical i start from the bottom and increase the height of needle and try to observe the inverted image in convex lens with the help of plane mirror here you can see we get the inverted image but still there is some parallax so it is important to remove the parallax so here you can see how can we remove the parallax now move your eyes from left to right you can observe the there is parallax or not so here you can clearly see there is still some parallax which i have to remove so i just adjust the optical needle how can we remove you can see here now you can see there is no parallax between needle and image remember that to find parallax you always have to move your eyes from left to right or right to left as you can see here not any kind of parallax so we can take now readings here you have to take two kind of readings first one is from lens to optical needle and second one is from plane mirror to optical needle so from lens to needle is distance is 14.3 cm and from plane mirror to optical needle the distance is 15 cm yet we had found the focal length of convex lens now we will find the focal length of combination for this take a few drop of transparent liquid on the plane mirror here we take the water as transparent liquid and repeat the same procedure as we had done before so as we had done before we have to adjust the optical needle such that there should be no parallax between optical needle and image for that we have to move the optical needle in upward direction after arrangement let's see is there any kind of parallax yes there is still some parallax between optical needle and image so again we have to arrange it properly see i remove parallax between needle and image as parallax is removed we should take the readings let's take reading 
here also you have to take two readings so first we take readings from convex lens to optical needle so the distance between needle and lens is 22.3 cm as you can see here and second reading we take between plane mirror and optical needle here the distance between plane mirror and optical needle is 23 cm let's see observation table so here you can see the two rows first one is without liquid and second one is for with liquid in without liquid the distance from lens surface to needle is 14.3 cm and the distance from plane mirror to needle is 15 cm so the mean value is 14.65 that is focal length f1 equal to 14.65 cm in with liquid the distance from lens surface to needle is 22.3 cm and the distance from plane mirror to needle is 23 cm so the mean value is 22.65 cm that is focal length capital F equal to 22.65 cm now we do calculation for this calculation first you have to find radius of curvature for radius of curvature I had already uploaded a video as spirometer you can learn how to find radius of curvature from that video the link is given in description so here radius of curvature capital R equal to 14.7305 cm and to calculation we have to use one formula which is 1 upon F2 equal to 1 upon capital F minus 1 upon F1. After putting the value you will get F2 equal to 41.47 cm. Here I neglect the negative sign and for calculation of refractive index we have to use another formula which is n equal to 1 plus capital R upon F2. After putting the value you get the refractive index n equal to 1.355. Please like, subscribe and share.